Today we're gonna do it on one of my favorite players, Richard Rady. Rady or not, here we go. Rady was also a great problem composer. Uh, his brother was also a well-known musician. And uh, it's pretty funny. Rady has like a thing over the letter, you know, like one of those things that makes no sense. All the Nordic people have them. Yeah, like brain damage, I assume. Anyway, uh, his brother uh, didn't have that. He's like, I don't want that. So, so there you go. Now, one thing I learned about Rady today was he died very young. Uh, I thought he was still alive. But it turned out he, he died in uh, 1929? Yeah, that's right. Uh, at the age of 40 of scarlet fever? You're supposed to like say, yeah. Yeah, you agree with that? People get that now? Any, no, not one person in like uh, 10 years, it's all gone? Because they still got the bubonic plague. They still got it. Yeah, we got it. Yeah, I, I would know. Yeah. No, scarlet fever all gone? Rare. When, oh, rare? Yeah, like only like a million people a year. No, okay. All right, so Rady died very young, uh, but he had a lot of great chess games. Probably his most famous game was, the obvious game I was referring to, which we will see later, was the game Rady beat Capablanca, bre breaking Capablanca's streak of 800 years without a loss, something like that, or seven. All right, right, Arjun? Yeah. All right. So Rady's white against either Rufus or Dufus, although his actual name's even funnier. So that's Caroli Sturk. Okay, yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay. All right, so E4, exclam. Now, Rady played everything, so you had to be Rady for everything. Right, Arjun? Yeah. All right. E5, and they played just like they play now. 1910, modern chess. They even... Even playing the Berlin, no, D6. Now, I like this game, but I have one reason why I like it. Anybody know? Rady played perfect every move. That's good, that's good job, okay. D4, exclam. Black pinned himself, so we have to punish that with D4. Bishop to D7, unpinning. Knight C3, developing a piece. Now, the intelligent players in this room would be like, takes, takes, here. And then they would be like, I don't know, and they'd play one of them and their flag would fall, except for Arjun. But white plays knight c3, because you should develop pieces in chess. All right, bishop e7, bishop g5, black takes, knight takes, castles, bishop takes. Bishop takes c6 is an important move in these variations because white gets one advantage or another. Either we get f5 if the bishop takes, or if the pawn takes, then as Stewie would say, black structure is no family guy people here. Why am I even lecturing? Okay, at least at home you said it. Ruined. All right, so bc, double pawns, isolated pawn, bishops aren't very good, okay. He doesn't, he, he doesn't stack paper to the ceiling. He doesn't write on 24 inch chrome. He's got nothing. 1910, what, what kind of car did he have? What do you think, Arjun? Terrible, right? No car, right. And I gotta look at this chess game? They should pay me more, right? All right, queen d3 connecting the rooks. Now the rooks can go in the middle. The queen can go checkmate the king. Everybody's happy. Knight g4, terrible. Arjun. Wouldn't everybody be happy except black? Right. <laughs> that, that goes without saying. All right. So now we have a discovered attack because I just discovered it. Bishop takes. Let's see. Who can I call on? Ken West. What did black play? Queen takes bishop. No? No, he did. Yeah. <laughs> Queen takes bishop. But I had him. All right. Now, unlike everybody else in the room, Rady played the best move here. You guys never played the best move here. I never saw you do it. Arjun, incorrect. H3. No, incorrect. F4. Who? F4. Ah, no wonder you beat everybody. F4. I was kidding. I know. Okay. <laughs> That's why you beat everybody. So the knight wants to go to E5. The queen wants to go to E5. Not anymore. And. White has more pawns on the king's side, because I said so. 
So White should move his kingside pawns. He's got more space. He's got more force. And Black resigned. Let's look at the next game. No, I'm kidding. F5, terrible. That's okay. Now, did Rady follow my rule? No. But why? I wasn't alive yet. He didn't know about it. What's my rule, Arjun? Incorrect. Yeah, you're, you got the wrong rule going on here. Yeah. See, if he played bishop f1 here, then he would be a good adherent to my rules. You. Always play e takes f5. Not always take on f5. Yeah, e takes f5. Okay, now if he had done that, he'd be the greatest player ever, but nobody thinks he's the greatest player ever. So he played like Paul Morphy instead. What would Morphy do here in a second? In a second. Right, but which one? Yeah, yeah. Because that, that rook, as Anand has told me many times, is doing Vishwa nothing. Now, it's on E1, so now it's getting hooked up over here. All right, this rook on the other hand, eh. All right, I take you, you take me. Queen H4, Grandmaster Ken West, what's the threat? Queen H2. Check me. Did Rady see it? It'd be funnier if he didn't. All right, then why am I showing this game? H3, retreat like a... Yeah, come on. <laughs> didn't you read your lines yesterday? Yeah. All right, now all beginners without thinking always trade everything. Okay, that's all they ever do. But you may have noticed earlier in the game, black played F5. F5 weakens which square? This isn't a Ken West question. Arjun. G8. <laughs> uh, partial credit. Partial credit. You. F7. Well, some. It's the squares that used to be defended by that pawn. Yeah, I agree with that. You. E6. E6. That's what I said. E six. That's what you said? I mean, I, I got to translate, you know. All right. That used to be so, defended by the pawn uh, on F7. Yeah. Yeah, we'll give the right answer next time. All right, so now you can see with these lines that there's an arrow to black's king and, and black resigned. No, it's white's move. So white played the obvious move. You, knight g5. Now we're going to go to e6, and we're going to play rook e7, and everybody's happy. Everybody, Arjun? He, like, he got his hand, he's like, wait a minute. No. All right. D5, that's an important move. Knight E6, attacking everything. It attacks this and this, and as the kids in my camp would say, and this. <laughs> and, and they would say it. Would All right. They, are they seeing that knight G7 is legal, though? Yeah. Not knight H8. No, no, they're not. Knight H8 is better. Which one? This knight? All right. Yeah, All right. If you haven't been to chess camp, you'll never get it. All right. Bishop takes. And now the class is going to vote. You can vote for knight takes e6 or rook takes e6. I'll let you think about it a while. I get paid by the hour, so. Yeah. Yeah. Nails are pretty and good. Hey, did I ask for a vote yet? You can't vote early. Voting hasn't opened yet. You asked for a vote. <sighs> ask, Typ I vote? Typical American public can't listen. All right. <laughs> and, we, and we have more people to vote now. You can vote for knight takes or rook takes. Now, when I did this in my camp, they all voted for the one in green, whatever the position was, because green's better than red, according to them. Yeah. All right, who votes for knight takes e6? Nobody. Vishwa nobody. And who votes for rook takes? It's ubiquitous, it's omnivorous. And as usual, the class is totally right. It's totally rook takes e6. Now, this pawn is weak. Now, what Feingold rule would lead you to play rook takes e6? You have to use a negative inference here. Very complicated to figure out my rules. You, no, I'll give you a hint. It's not chopsticks, and it's not a spoon, and it's not a fork. Knife f5? Knife f5. <laughs> so you can't play knife f5 if your knight's on e6. All right, man, knight f5 is gonna be knife f5 soon. Man, Rady invented knife f5. Alright. C5 attacking the knight. Oh no, where does it go? 
Knight f5, bam. All right, now the beat down followed by the smack down took place. Queen h5. Yeah. Yeah. And what did white play? No, they, they agreed to a draw. What? G4. Yeah, I kind of want to play G4. G4. Where's Mayor Larson? I don't, I don't see him. You guys are assuming I remember what he played. Terrible audience. Yes. Don't you have it in front of you? No. No, I, no. You. What? Rookie seven. I don't know the answer. You. <laughs> Who's the comedian over here? All right. Anyway, white played. Everybody's hoping they're right. Rook f6. Oh, so close. And black played Grandmaster Ken West. I'll give you two guesses. Two guesses. Yes. Correct. Very good. If Rook takes F6, Queen takes D. Nah, Queen takes D5. Check is reasonable because the Rook's not defending the other Rook. And if G takes F6, which then he can't raise his hand quick enough. Yeah. I have a queen on h5. You're just going to trade queens? Yes. I have a question. This pawn on f6, where was it? It was on g7. Is it there now? No. Oh. Ah. Yeah. So what's the right move? Arjun. Yeah. Don't you hate when that happens? So king h8 is risky. Queen g6 is also risky. And the riskiest of all is king f7. Riskier than king h8. Right. Yeah. And now, as Roman Ginger Hashvili would say, I cannot see him does not Yeah. g4 wins, rook e1 wins, queen e7 probably wins. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Probably moving the knight away wins. Knight, knight g3 wins. Queen g6 x clam? Yeah. Hey, found a move that didn't win. Solid. I mean, apparently I better than a grandmaster because I found a move that doesn't win. Yeah, good job. Yeah. It, you're better in one sense. All right. So white won, hooray. And then the, the game's ended. I don't know. No. OK, now a player you've heard of, Tartakower. Right? Yeah. No, you, what? How could you lie to my face like that? <laughs> What's his first name? Like you put it on your chair or something. Tartar is his first name? You like Benjamin Benjamin. Yeah, that's true. Rady played E4, which he always played. Ha, ah, that's funny, because the Rady opening. All right. C6, terrible. This is a very famous game that you all know. For example, you know it, right? You, yeah, you don't point to you. Yeah, you do. You do know it. No. Yep, yes, you do. All right, watch the apology later. You, you, you ready? I'm sure there's a lot of games that start with E plus C6. No, no, there's not just this one. <laughs> You're going to agree that you know the game as we keep looking at it. You hear me talking over there? All right. So, the, you know, the hero con. Okay, now you know it. <laughs> exactly. All right. I think I just played this game against Joseph. Yeah, now. Uh, we don't talk about French in this class. Yeah, it's not allowed. I hope it's not Joseph French. Oh, that's okay then. Yeah, then, then you're, you're back in. All right, now Rady played the most common move. All right, what's the least common move white can play that doesn't hang everything? It's less common than what you're going to suggest. It's much less common than that. You, much less common. Nah, you keep moving your knight. Never play f3. <laughs> Queen d3. Man. Say what? All right. 
So ready or not, here comes queen d3. You know the game yet? You already made that joke. What? You. No? OK. Now, Black blundered every move. He was out of his prep. <laughs> out of his prep, he blunders. He played e5 double question mark. Yeah, but I gave a double question mark. That was like chess base. OK. And Rady's like, thank you. Very polite. D takes e5. And now, Black played the trick of the century, tricking himself. <laughs> Queen a5 check, winning back his pawn. Draw agreed. Bishop to d2. You know the game yet? Me. Yeah. It's the most famous game ever. What are you, what's wrong with you people? All right. Queen takes e5. And now, Tiger Cower started trash talking. He's like, look at all these threats I got. Right? He's got, I got all these arrows. Yeah? Ah, now the light comes on. Right, Arjun? Yeah. OK. So now, white does something I always teach. He avoids a hassle. Castles. Castles. I said that once in kids' class, and this kid raised his hand and said, what's a hassle? <laughs> and then when I said castle, they said, what's castling? So. All right, now black won a piece. Ooh, OK. Knight takes knight. You know this game yet? Yeah. No? Nothing. All right. Nothing, Danny? You got nothing? All right. Now, other than Julian, who has seen the game and knows the answer anyway, what move did White make? Arjun? Have you seen this, Arjun? No. Are you telling the truth? Yeah. Can somebody put one of the lights on Arjun so we can see if he's telling the truth? You, Arjun. Where's Elon? Ah. Oh. Hold on. F3, even worse. I've never been so furious. All right, would someone like to suggest the actual move played in the game? Arjun. Wait, now you know the game. Yeah, now I know. Ah, I want, I want the apology, I'll wait. Sorry. Okay. I didn't know it. Ah, now, now you're like, I don't know this game. Now you know the game? I didn't know. You didn't know it was Rady Tower to Cower? You didn't know it was Rady Tower to Cower? No. Those guys were good. Well, maybe not Tower to Cower. <laughs> After this game, you gotta like say, "Whoa, Tartakower, dude!" All right, you. Queen, Queen D8. Queen D8. Bam. Right, Arjun. Yeah. You get it yet? Yeah. Really? Even King C7? What? Yeah. Okay. All right. So Black played the best move. Takes. So White sacrificed his queen, and now he's all lined up. Now what? Bishop F4 wins the queen, but there's one thing better than winning the queen. Arjun. Bishop D5. Bishop D5, double check. Which makes sense because Rady died in Prague. True story. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. The country he was born in no longer exists. Yeah. All right, now we got two mates in one. King E8, Rook D8 mate, or the actual game, King C7, Arjun. Bishop D8 mate. Bishop D8 mate. Solid. And Tartakar was good. Yeah. What about King takes D8? X-Clam. All right. What a game. What a guy. Now he played everybody's favorite opponent, NN. And this was in an offhand game. You. I don't know. You thought I was crazy then. He showed up. All right. E4. Wait, Rady plays E4 every game. E5. The knight C3, bishop C5. Now, I tell all my kids, bishop C5, question mark, and they raise their hand and go, what does bishop C5 mean and what does question mark mean? So that doesn't really help. Okay, Arjun's hand's way up. Yeah. What does white do? Bishop C5. You sure? Yeah. Are you positive? Yeah. Okay. Knight takes e5. All right. Now, that's called the fork trick. And I can't show you the fork unless black lets it happen. So black let it happen. Very nice of him. OK. And the bishop knight takes e5, d4. Now, black's only slightly worse here. But since his name is NN, he has a really bad track record over a period of hundreds of years. He plays terrible. NN beat though. Really? Yeah. It was course. Did he wake up and apologize? All right. Bishop, bishop takes d4, terrible. Queen takes. 
queen f6. Now, for those of you who are the uninitiated, black has a threat here. Again, these queens are lined up, so can't jump over the knight. If white plays the most obvious move, rook to b1, well, you want to overprotect b2. Then knight f3 check, forking the king and queen. I didn't see pawn takes knight, but luckily I have queen takes queen. Very lucky. Okay. So Rady's like, you can't play queen f6, I'm Rady. And you're NN. What chance do you have? So Rady attacked and defended at the same time. How did he save his queen and make threats? You. Ugh, horrible. The worst player in his chair. Stop jumping up and down at home. I can't hear you. Oh, I can hear you. Obviously. Exclam. Because he won in two moves? He's better than you. You would have won like three moves. All right, now this trick doesn't work anymore because the queen's protected. And black got worried about knight here. Shh, quiet in class, please. Now, black should play c6, giving away the d6 square, but instead he lost immediately, because it's better for our class, and played king to d8 exclam. Now, as my favorite line on The Sopranos, there's good and there's not good, that's not good. Okay, that's the worst. However, which first world champion approved of king d8? So I gave the answer when I said the first world champion. You. George Washington, that's right. Yeah. He was good friends with Ben Franklin, who's in the Hall of Fame. Some of those statements were true, not many. I said the first world champion, not the first president. Also, the first president was John Hansen. Read your history. Wait, what? what? Right, back, are you backing me up? Uh, backed up. There you go. You. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know, kind of a Congress and all. All right, so now, if I was white, I would play queen f8 mate, but I'm a grandmaster and you're not. Also, I would play, how'd that go away? I would play queen takes c7 check. I'm sort of giving you the answer. So therefore, white played Ken West. How did white threaten them both? He's like, nah, you can't do it. Queen c5, Mario. Yeah, now, now it's tough. And now things are tough, I tells you. And now, black do what we all yearn to do. Resign. Resign. My, my favorite variation is the obvious knight here. Check. Here. Check. Castles. Here. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Mate. With advantage. And now the tables are turned. It was queen. And now it's like that. Right, Arjun? And then, and then he ran the bases and it was a home run. Is that right, Arjun? Yeah. All right. Good. Okay. I don't think they play that as well. All right. Now, in this position, White's down a piece, but he has a threat that you see and a threat that you don't see. You're like, I see them both. Can I, can I set this up before you give the wrong answer? All right. So the bishop wants to take the queen. Yeah. And here... Black has an intermezzo where he doesn't get checkmated immediately. But that wouldn't be any fun for our class, so he didn't do that. Black should play bishop g5 check. Okay, then maybe he's better, I don't know. Instead, he moved his queen. Moving his queen when it's attacked, terrible. Queen b7, exclam. All right, now white gives black the sugar me do. Okay, it looks like black's king is safe because all these pieces are here. But I know it's not safe because I heard a long discussion between Lawrence Olivia and Dustin Hoffman. It's definitely not safe. Right? You hear me talking over there, Ken West? No, don't know the marathon man? Really? I just know the team. Yeah, that's where he says is it safe. Ah, okay. That's the one thing you know and you still didn't get it? Ah, ah, ah. You with the right answer. Queen G6 check. Queen G, and if, only, if only Arjun had known that. I raised my hand. Yeah, but you would have given the wrong answer, right? No, I'm giving Queen G6. Yeah, I know. 
Queen g6 check. Now, if King h8, x clam, mate, double x clam. So even better, than, yeah. And if bishop takes queen, hmm, take towards the center, double pawns. Hmm. But you always take the center. It's okay. HG6. I can't figure. Oh, King H8. <laughs> and now black's the queen up, so white resigns. Yeah. What? You don't agree? What do you do? Or King H6. Stalemate. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, he lived in Prague, so checkmate. <laughs> Never mind. All right. And, and white wins because he's got slight attack. Queen b7, no good. Now for the famous game, Rady Capablanca, New York 1924, which was won by which player? Rady. Came in like fifth. Come on. That was a good guess. It was a wrong answer, but a good guess. Rady? Who? There's only two options. There is? It wasn't one of these two guys. The big three played in New York 24. Who were the big three? I'll give you a hint. World champions two, three, and four. All right, the correct answer obviously is Emmanuel Lasker. Right, right? Obviously. Okay, Lasker, Capablanca, Alakine, pretty good tournament. Anyway, uh, Capablanca supposedly hadn't lost a game in a thousand years, and then Rady took him to school, picked him up at 3.30 sharp. Okay, and in fact, he played the Rady, finally. E4 his whole life, what's he doing? Now, where's Kokomo? No? Okay, that gives you a hint as to what White's next move was. Yes? B4, good job, yeah. Okay, some people like space, some people don't. Okay, my ex-girlfriend, for example, oh, never mind. All right, Bishop G7. Now, if it was Black's move, then it's something else. But okay, Bishop B2, yeah. And they play boring, because that's what Capablanca did. All right. What? Oh. Uh, this is like the boring world of Niels Bohr over here. All right. And nothing's happening, nothing's happening. And finally, d4. Bishop e4. The queen moved pretty good. Takes, takes. Now it looks good for black. Capablanca the best. Now white's better. Well, that's trick ended. Now, white's better, not only because I said so. White has more space. Pawn on the fifth rank, fourth rank. And this pawn's weak. Terrible. Takes, ah, anti-positional. Ah. C takes d4, terrible. Bishop takes c4, that's better. Now two weak pawns. But black gave himself the c5 square. Queen takes c4, what do we call that, Arjun? Greedy. Taking a weak pawn, exposing your queen. Horrible. Bishop g7, king g7, x clam. And now, the winning move. Can Arjun find it? He's like, I'm playing with his chair over here. Yeah. You know who can find it? Ken West. No, I'm just kidding. All right, now in this game, the obvious move is knight takes queen, or knight d4, is knight takes queen, because you fork the queen and the bishop. If you don't like that move, this knight could take the queen. So this is a clearance move, obviously. Arjun. What? That's what I think, that I'm probably both wrong. Hey, queen b2, what do you know? Now it's check. And then knight d2 is coming. Don't you hate when that happens? How could Capablanca be so greedy to take this pawn? And not only that, he set himself up to do it by playing cd. Terrible. Okay, the thing is, queen takes c4 is usually good. He just wasn't ready. Right, Arjun? Yeah. He's Capablanca. Yeah. 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 It's slightly different. Yeah. Yeah, your sense of humor is very suspicious. Very suspicious. All right, queen b2, king g8, and now every move wins, especially. Yeah. I was waiting for knight d2, that's funny. Knight 3d2. I don't know what he played. Rook takes d6. 
Aha, he showed you. On knight d2, looks good. What's the winning move for black? There's a winning move for black? I was kidding. You. No, I think black could play queen c2 based on what t-shirt? Oh, yes. Always play queen c2. Yeah. What? Queen c2 you wore a t-shirt saying queen c2 No, it's a queen c2 exclam. Oh, sorry. Yeah, come on. Learn my life. Now, if we trade, both rooks are hanging. Oh, kappa blank is too good. So rook takes d6, bam. Queen c5, attacking the rook. Rook a d1, Rady's threatening to win two pieces for a rook. Rook a7, defending. Knight e3, and black is crushed because I got the diagonal, I got the file. Here comes knight g4. Okay, A terrible. b6 is weak, neither knight can move, and all the arrows are going that way. Terrible. All right. Queen h5, threatening the knight. Knight d4, unthreatening the knight. Takes, takes. Knight c6 is crushing. The knight still can't move. Knight c4, double exclam. If knight c6, forking the rook and queen, Julian's hand goes up really fast. Yeah? Queen takes queen, yeah. Knight c4, queen c5, now knight c6. Man, this is like Carlson nobody. That's what it looks like. All, all of white's pieces are better than all of black's pieces, but Kappa Blank has queen made a lot of moves. So you gotta give him that. Rook c7 saving his rook. Knight e3, knight e5, rook d5, and the black queen is well placed. Well placed for white to capture. And Kappa Blanca now played the amazing move. Resigns. Offer draw. Yeah. Yeah. So when you, when you offer, draw. that game, he just got beat positionally, strategically, and it made sure Lasker won the tournament. I wasn't sure who was going to win this tournament, and I didn't know, so I'll ask her. Uh, and I found out. Right? But that's okay. Cabo Blanca wasn't upset because they'll always have Paris. Right, Ken? All right, Ken got it. Good. All right. And last but not least, an unknown game played in Bratislava. That's where Arjun likes to vacation. Right? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. What? Okay. C4. Why is C4 good? <laughs> How many times have I told this joke? How many? Never. Never? Yeah. Uh, let's call on a random student. Julian. Thank you. <laughs> it controls D5. All right. Terrible answer. All right. C5, knight F3. I like this game. Looks like it was played today in my chess camp. No. G6. Okay, now the age old question occurs should black play bishop takes c3, ruining the pawn structure, but getting rid of his dark squared bishop? Julian? Yes. That's what he did. Yeah. Then you're going to see how he gets the beat down, then the smack down. But you're like, but black's winning. Yeah. yeah. So now black started, you know, moving his knights around. Bob Seeger wasn't even born yet. So, I don't know. F3, B6, castles, knight A5, terrible. All right, so in chess, you should develop your pieces in castle, or you could show that you know how the knight moves, okay? And maybe that's why Bob Seeger wrote this song. I don't know, he saw this game. Yeah. Okay, bishop H6, now castling is not good and illegal, which again, would not stop anybody in my camp. Well, that's my camp. You never know what they'll do. All right. Bishop a6. Now, if you remember the last position, and you don't, the bishop was on e3. That was a hint. Now what did white do? It was a hint. No? 
See any attack this pawn? 93. Yeah, 93. Yeah, he understands me. All right. Rook C8, F4, put it in F. F4 is a very important move because Black's king is on E8 and it's going to stay on E8 irrespective of Adam's opinions. It's still going to be on E8. So White's going to push all his center pawns, open up the king on E8 with the flashing green light. That was 1925 in Bratislava. So. And Black loses because all his pieces are on the queen side and White has the two bishops. Let's see if it works. Rook g8, x-clam. No, I'm just kidding, it's terrible. And I've said this before, uh, I used to be related to somebody, and that person would play rook g8, and I say you're not allowed to play rook g8. And now we're not related, so man, it's, it's tough but fair. Okay, and hopefully my lawyer's watching this video. All right, queen c2, of course, as advertised, f6, Never play f6. e5. The point of f6 was to stop e5. That makes it fun here. And black wants to move his king closer to white's pieces. Okay. Takes, takes, f5. All right, and now, if Vasilius Catronius isn't watching this, pause your video, go give him a call, okay, and then you invite him over, and then have him come look at this position, and ask him what he would play. And the answer is... Knife, knife f5. Yeah. Knife takes f5. Yeah. Now, Black decided taking the knight was suicidal, but it's still better than what he did. It is. Yeah, he played knight e6. Terrible. Okay, he should take, and then, man, bishop h5 check, queen f, rook, ah, 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 terrible, terrible. Ah. Okay, the game ended, and really, it was really funny how the game ended. That's why I like this game. Knight e6, knight e3 defending the pawn, or so he thought. Okay, now watch the end. Don't blink. Takes, takes, rook d1. What did black play, Arjun? Nine? No. This is serious. Yeah. Three, yeah. Now, this is my favorite Rady game. It's unknown. And here he did just something beautiful. Although it was two knights against two bishops, I should be a little more angry. I like two knights. What? You can't make I know. <laughs> White sacrificed his queen here. Not easy to do. Although he did win seven of black's pieces. So he played queen a4 check, and black played the obvious move. Anyone? Yeah. You. I don't care who answers, anybody. Queen c6. Queen c6, yeah. And now what's the winning queen sacrifice? And your hand's always up. You! Bishop, uh, c4. Bishop c4. Yeah, and black resigned. Queen c4 is illegal and therefore not good. It's better, better than... I would play rook f8 checkmate. Right. Now after... Oops. There's a rook on g8. Yeah, because... Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now bishop takes e6. Two bishops for a queen, and black's king is well placed for white to checkmate him. I didn't finish my sentence. <laughs> what? We played chess before. <laughs> now we're threatening mate in one. Who wants to find it? Is there more than one mate in one? Adam. Bishop f7. Bishop f7 mate. Now, how do you stop bishop f7 mate? Rook f8 and rook f8. So, yeah, but that doesn't stop me. Arjun. Yeah, then, man, bishop takes g7. That's what we call the horizon effect. Yeah. No, the, but what's the best move according to the computer? Ah. Man, Mario instantly. That's right. Computer move is queen takes d1. Yeah. Mario knows what's up. Then after here, you're slightly worse. Yeah, slightly. Yeah, now you're not so good. 
Yeah, there's good and there's, yeah, so I, I really like the end of the game. Queen check, bishop takes c4, and the guy didn't like hook him up, he resigned. Like, let the guy get this position, it's awesome. You're threatening bishop f7 mate and both rooks. Solid. That's a good king on e8. Back to the question at hand, what do you think of bishop takes c3? Well, Didn't work out well. well. Come on, that guy played great after that. <laughs> All right. And his name was R Rufus. Okay. And, but he prepared this variation with Shaka Khan. Class dismissed. <laughs> <laughs>